Greetings again, Andy. Couldn't help seeing your post defending the Novine universe. And well, you're wrong again. Nova has been pretty emphatic about the fact that he doesn't need to wear diapers. He just likes to dress up in them. He enjoys role-playing as a toddler. It may be, shall we say, weird, but he's not actually trying to force people into taking care of him as though he were an actual baby. I can't speak for him, of course, but on the very live stream this screenshot comes from, he called you out for being a disgusting faker. Or something along those lines. The fact that you think he does need them, though, tells us a lot about what you think autism is. Evidently, you believe anyone with autism needs diapers, and we're here to tell you that is completely untrue. In fact, most people on the spectrum have no problem going to the bathroom. In the bathroom? It's very rare for it to be so severe. And like we've been trying to tell you, those people spend their lives wearing them. From kindergarten to 99, they don't talk much, if at all. They don't plan ways to make themselves seem worse than they are. They don't put laxatives in the coffee pot. They don't start computer repair businesses or make YouTube videos about replacing hardware on a laptop. They don't show people how to download Windows 10. All of these things you're doing here are activities beyond the capability of autism, so severe diapers are needed. Here's some video from him around 2014 when he was operating a computer repair business called the Best PCs. For a guy who says he has had crippling communication issues his whole life, what you're about to see will put that notion to bed forever. Hello guys, I'm Andrew from A Best PCs. Thank you for watching my videos. Hello, I'm Andrew from A Best PCs. Hey, I'm Andrew from A Best PCs. He clicked on a YouTube video on me finishing up a computer repair. Hello, I'm Andrew from Avex PC here to show you this makes my 12.5 professional and to show you why it's the best. Okay, I'm Andrew from Avex PCs here. We're going to show you how to do a simple hard drive or hardware upgrade on a laptop. Hi guys, I'm Andy from Avex PCs, AvexPCs.com. We're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to create a Windows Media Recovery Tool. So uh, we're going to have to show you how to create a Windows Media uh, Creating Tool. So that way there you can download Windows 10 and install it to a CD-ROM or USB drive to install Windows 10 clean. So we're going to type in Windows 10. It's already um, top one right there. Just select the arrow or select the Windows 10 Media Creating Tool. Click on Windows 10 ISO by Microsoft. Go ahead, click on Download Tool now. I already saved this file, so we're click on Save As. Run. Click on Yes. Remember what we said about autistic people who need diapers not talking much, if at all? Does this sound like someone who had trouble talking or needs help going to the bathroom? Seems to us. Anyone capable of replacing hardware in a laptop or downloading a Windows ISO file can pull their pants down and sit on the toilet. This will help you download the file. Go ahead and read the terms and conditions of this file. Click on next, or accept rather. It's going to get files on what you want to do. If you're going to upgrade this computer, click on the Upgrade This PC Now option. Unfortunately, this is we're going to walk you through the, both of these uh, files as we go through. We're going to Upgrade This PC Now. This will actually allow me to download the Windows 10 file. Go ahead and follow the directions. You want to see someone with severe autism that might indeed require diapers? Meet Marty. Two boys, Peter and Marty, Play alone. Time is stopped for these children because they are victims of a severe emotional disorder called autism. Institute at the University of California in Los Angeles, where researchers are studying the nature of autism. A major symptom is the autistic's withdrawal from the human world. People are objects he stares at blankly. 
He feels no need to communicate, so he rarely learns how to speak. He lives in a world of his own making. Remember, we said he might need them. There are people even worse off than Marty and Andy. You want us to think you're as disabled as they are? Sorry, Andy, that just does not compute. You should be dropping a pencil all day, silently, except for occasional yells, or doing some other menial task if you were that disabled. Do you think Marty ever figured out complicated tasks like computer repair? Don't you see, you aren't him. He could never write this community post, even with the help of AAC. If you indeed had severe autism, you'd have never been able to make those old videos. Hell, you wouldn't have even thought about making them, because they involve communicating with people. Something severely autistic people don't do.